Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres, and today I am in beautiful Miami. We're shooting a series with Gifter X Talks, and let me tell you, we got our next guest today, the host. Uh, well, first off, welcome to the show, Thank George, you. the host of the Meat and Cigars podcast, also owns a water bike business, so we're going to get into that and more. But first off, got to tell you. That name of that show? Which one? I saw it. Come <laughs> Which on. Which one? Which one? Me and Cigars? Yeah, you like that? How'd you come up with that? Come on. Actually, I, I would love to take credit for it, <laughs> uh, but it's uh, my buddy Herman. Uh, our think, favorite carnivore? Our, cur- our favorite carnivore, <laughs> uh, a coach. Uh, he came up with that one. At first, I was like, no, I don't like it. And then I was like, you know what? It's good. I'm going to have to use it. It's it. great. <laughs> it's not good. It's great. I remember it. You know how many podcast names I've gone through or I've heard of? But really? yours I caught the first time. I'm yeah, like, how do you yeah. forget that? Two of my f- like, people think it's meet from meeting. Oh. And it actually came from, we we did meetups together. Okay. And it's the meet meetup. Oh, my. Okay. Mind Which blown. It, it really, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> talk about talk about the format because for those at home that haven't seen it yet or those that are in their car yeah. listening like describe the format for us so it's pretty simple i mean we normally would get together with friends yeah smoke cigars and i'm argentinian i was born in argentina obviously mm. i didn't keep a lot of my argentinian you know perfection mm-hmm. uh but i definitely when it comes to barbecuing soccer and uh you know <laughs> And just being awesome. No, mate? I'm and mate? Do we throw some mate I do the mate. I do the mate. Yeah, I like but the, the mate. mate will get you in the bathroom real quick in the morning. <laughs> so you got to be careful with the mate, especially <laughs> if you're a newbie at it. But, uh, but yeah, so we, we used to get together all the time mm-hmm. and have these really in-depth conversations, especially when we had a few drinks. Yeah. You know, we got really, you know, into philosophy and all kinds <laughs> of stuff. So, you know, every time we finished the night, we would tell each other, Damn, we should put this on video. Like somebody, yeah. somebody will enjoy watching this. Yeah. And then we just, I just, one day I said, you know what, we're gonna do it. Dang. And then we started with that. And obviously Herman is one of our co-hosts. Mm-hmm. I have other two or three friends, and every now and then I bring in new people. Mm-hmm. Mostly the idea is just to enjoy ourselves. Yeah. Uh, we, like I said, we know we enjoy eating meat. I love doing barbecue Mm -hmm. i've started with my comfort zone Mm -hmm. and then i've gone out of my comfort zone Mm. i've done disasters i've done brisket that it's like rubber i've done (laughs) you know i mean i burned meat i mean you know i've tried wood hold up hold up time out wait wait wait. (laughs) we still ate it wait time out man you invited me to your show (laughs) later we're gonna eat good we're gonna eat good tonight hey this better i'm (laughs) not gonna gonna report back on this one tonight we're gonna go the classics don't be doing any don't be doing any experiments on me no experimenting no experiment we're going with a classic tonight uh so yeah so and then the cigar part yeah which is uh another thing that i enjoy i picked up maybe about 15 i so i used to smoke obviously i don't condone smoking but uh i quit uh i gained a lot of weight Mm. then the whole workout thing came in the carnivore Mm, which you guys already talked about but it's part of the podcast and then we started smoking cigars yeah uh and it's just one of those things that you know you have the meat yeah. You finish the, the dinner and you have the cigar with the scotch yep. or with the with the cognac. Mm-hmm. And it's just, you know, it's just like a it's almost like a tradition, mm. like a like a like 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 a something that just relaxes you and you really enjoy. Yeah. Uh and then, you know, of course we started learning about cigars because, you know, yeah. you don't just go and get the first cigar and go, that's it, I'm done. Of course. And uh, you know, we've had all kinds of cigars and we really, I mean, you know, that hopefully, eventually, the cigar companies will want to do some advertising with us. Come on. Uh, I have uh, Sidecar. I don't know if you ever heard of them. Oh, yeah. Sidecar, uh, they have the, the lighters. Mm-hmm. Like, I actually met the owner at an event, mm-hmm. and he's become a good friend, and he comes over. He's done a few podcasts. He also uh, promotes wines. Ah. He's starting a wine company called La Pistolina, mm. uh, which is an amazing wine. I don't know where he... Well, I know where he get it from, but... I don't. I mean, it's really good. I mean, I like wine really with good. meat. Come on, yeah. Man. I mean, you can't be what, wine, what, wine and yeah, meat, and, and then you got the lighter. And so, better you know. look into that camera. Cough up and that it's wine, very, man. And <laughs> it's very, very, very good wine. I mean, it really is. Yeah. It's expensive. It's in the sixties, which is not. You know, I wouldn't say it's a wine you can drink every day. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he has other options to it. Mm. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so Mike. 
Thank you for the wine. It was awesome. <laughs> we Mike, really we take it. wine over here at Mission <laughs> Matters, too. You know, that's part of what we do. But well, we'll get them on what, here. We'll get them on What's here. one of your favorite parts about being a host? Like, since you started doing it. I Ooh. know it started with just, like, yeah. you know, this creative outlet and just, like, man, let's just record it. We're having these great conversations anyway. Right. We're having some fun convos. Like, yeah. I know over time that evolves as a host. And you got quite yeah. a bit of episodes out there. So, yeah. Yeah. like, in retrospect, yeah. um, from where you started to where you're at now, yeah. um, what's been one of your favorite parts about being a host i mean to be honest i mean obviously i'm a talker yeah i've always been a talker uh you know since it was since high school or, co- or school <laughs> yeah. you know i would get a lot of shut up okay okay <laughs> stop talking <laughs> i'm like but why why now are you you're like it's talking? my podcast so now you it's go, like you, i actually what? you can make money from talking so <laughs> it's a good thing who would have uh, thought exactly uh, so there is a learning curve mm-hmm. uh, i am still learning uh you know at first it was just chattering uh, mm-hmm. There was no direction. Then I, you know, once you edit, you look at the video mm-hmm. and you realize, you know, you want to allow people to put forth their idea mm-hmm. and put forth their their point of view, mm-hmm. uh, even though you, in your head, you're disagreeing co-heartedly with it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you want to say something against it. Yeah. You just need, need to sometimes just shut up and allow the the, the host to explain mm-hmm. what they're explaining mm-hmm. and kind of allow the, the progression of it. Mm-hmm. Kind of like what you're doing right now. So a good host. It trains you to be a, it trains you to be a better listener though. Absolutely. And in my my personal like life, I can think about like it's yeah. trained me to be more present because you have yes. to really understand and feel and hear the other person Absolutely. versus like once you've been doing it a while there's yep. no more of this concept or feeling that many do and myself included yeah. in our normal lives which is waiting for your time to speak right it doesn't really work that way not if you want to be there and present and get yeah. the best out of your guest yeah definitely definitely i mean one of the things that i've learned is that not only do you allow the person to speak mm-hmm. but you also listen to the what the person says mm-hmm. a lot of times we listen so we have a reply and i and i've really i am working on that mm-hmm. it's kind of hard to do because as the person speaking you're thinking of things mm-hmm. but the thinking makes you stop listening mm. so you're not really listening to what mm-hmm. they're saying you're thinking about what you want to say mm. so that, at that moment there's a there's a moment there that there's a disconnect yeah you're no longer listening you're no longer wanting to ask the right question or allow the person to go forward. So that part is pretty interesting. And and like you said, I mean, it does help. uh, Comprehension is a big part of Mm -hmm. life. You know, if you Mm -hmm. want to get a job, if you want to, you know, advance in life, Mm -hmm. you need to understand and understanding. And then there is the, you're in disagreement with what people say. Mm -hmm. That's a big one. Mm -hmm. Uh, How how to go about explaining to the other person, listen, I'm in disagreement with mm. what you're saying. So and this, you and, and, this you is and my Herman point of get view. into like these. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. oh, I have other friends that <laughs> we really, know. you know, yeah. I mean, we're good friends. Of course. But, you know, sometimes he's got dumb, dumb. Th- no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they're not dumb, but they're stupid. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no. But we, everybody has disagreements. There's yeah, yeah, no yeah. way in hell you if can. If you're being authentic, if you're having a real connection, oh, I and, mean, and, otherwise you know, it's like, yeah. yes, yes, yes. And, and you'll get to know us in, in the podcast tonight. You'll see that we don't, we don't pull punches. Yeah. You know, I'm already over. Over the age of 50 so i can say whatever i want mm-hmm. you know it's gotten to the point that you know in your life you can start realizing you don't need a filter mm-hmm. filters are good sometimes but not all the time mm. and the more authentic you are the more you are the more you are the more you do things you enjoy the more you think you enjoy you're better at them and mm. when you're better at them you provide people with a better service mm. and you're being truthful uh so it really does it's 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 kind of like a cycle because you mm-hmm. start off kind of being rude but you end up being <laughs> the right product and the right person for yeah. the right people. Right. So ultimately, you do want to be a little bit rude because mm. you do want to eliminate the people that you don't want around. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't want the fake people. I'm not going to say rude. I'll say you mean you mean authentic. Like well, you want to yeah, be yourself. It, it can so come if, out you, if you are, if you are, well, yeah, uh, if that's part of your personality, that's yeah. what you're expressing. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, that's yeah. what you're expressing. And a lot of people will see it as rude yeah, because you're that's being true. authentic. Yeah, yeah. You know, and other people will love it. I love it. Yeah. When I have somebody, you know, man, you're Argentina. Come you're out there me, with your you know, buddies. You're like, come on. Come who's on next? Somebody comes at me hard. I'm like, like yes, I like, like this, this guy. This is about know? to be a real. Yeah. What are you talking and, the, about? and the guy and the guys are like looking at me like I, I was being rude to you, like I was being aggressive. And I'm like, 
No, no, but I like it. I like, you know, yeah, I'm good you. with that. Yeah, I can you. handle that. Yeah. I can't handle, I don't know where you're coming from, yeah. that, oh my God, it's so nice to see you. You're like, yeah. mm, you can't uh, handle past the, the <laughs> meat, man. Like what? You better stop eating all this meat. You better so, give yeah. me some, give me some content. Yeah. And it's also, it's a great excuse to eat more meat. Yeah. I mean, come on, come on. Bar, yeah. Who doesn't like to do barbecue? For sure. How I mean, many, how many episodes are you in roughly? I we're think, at yeah. nine episodes right now. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So it's pretty young yeah. in the journey. Yeah, I'm just curious. And if, if, if this has happened to you yet, my guess is going to be no, because it comes a little later but okay. have you started to develop like that kind of almost that third sense or that other sense that to where you're starting to think about the audience and their perception in your conversation oh no yeah <laughs> that that no that's At what's all. next that's what's yeah. next it yeah. probably yeah. took me and i'm yeah. not projecting this on no, you no, or no, anybody no. else watching but yeah. i feel like i was a solid like three years in okay. before i started to really like I, it took me a so, for me okay. a solid three years to be able to just like be focused and uh, really be present and okay. understand and to really feel the other person and their energy and to make that connection in an authentic way and with a lot you're of talking different about the types host, of people are you talking about the no the, that's the just people that. watching. So after that three years mm -hmm. once i was able able to finally like really feel mm -hmm. in that moment which is never it's not like a you're done you're all, every interview is going to be its own challenge and its own journey mm -hmm. like every individual interview as well but one of the fun things is, mm -hmm. is the further you go in this and the longer you're in the game, mm -hmm. at some point, this thing's going to develop in your brain where you're going to be thinking about the audience and okay. their perception. Right. And it's going to be a whole nother, like you're already going to know, especially when you start getting feedback and comments yeah. and other things like that. That's when you'll start making kind of like involuntary comments to the camera or to your audience. And oh, you'll be saying you. things like, oh man, I'm going to get an email about this one. There's, oh, what did you just well, say? I'm about to get kinda, a- We like, kind of do that already. So I, that's Honest. I mean, not so much about that I'm thinking about the, yeah. you know, but it's more about, you know, I am conscious. That yeah. So you do have the consciousness then. I don't, I, I didn't have it. it I don't know. I, 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 I mean, the way you're describing Some people it may makes have more it. sense yeah. than what, like, I think that I definitely think that this is my niche. Yeah. I, I do enjoy it a lot. Uh, I've never been really, really shy. Mm -hmm. uh, I was when I was younger, but then I got rid of it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, even with Herman and I, we did yeah, stand up yeah, yeah. comedy. Oh, we, did you? Yeah, That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, man. you know, it's kind of like you got rid of that shyness yeah. because, you know, ultimately at the end of the day, and not to be grim or anything, but everybody's mm -hmm. going to die. Yeah. And nobody's going to remember who you are. For sure. So if you leave a book and you leave a recording and you leave something, who knows? Maybe something I say might motivate somebody mm -hmm. to change their life to a positive. Somebody might look at mm -hmm. life a little bit more relaxed. Somebody might enjoy themselves. They might refer back to us about how people talked in the, you know, in the 2000s and 20. Yeah. You know, you don't know because, you know, right now you're looking at videos. You know, I, I look at, you know, a lot of TikTok and all that, obviously, because um, it's, it's, it is what it is today. It's popularity. Mm -hmm. And one thing you see in there is what? They're referring back to old movies and old clips, yep. and, uh, you know, Three's Company and, uh, you oh, know, yeah. and all these the shows. The 80s and like and all the 80s these yeah, and, cartoons. And then you and all watch that, yeah. the way they speak to each other. You're like, holy shit. Wow. Did they just say yeah. that? Even like, The Office, that's like not that long ago. like the most racist thing in the world. Yeah. Like, you know, and at the time it was like funny. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody had an issue with it. For sure. Uh, so it is kind of like, you know, there is a, there is a recording and, and the beauty of knowledge, you know, like for example, we, at one point, Alexandria and uh, Alexandria's library had all mm -hmm. the knowledge in the world mm -hmm. in one place and it burned down and we mm -hmm. missed that. And so we weren't able to build on top of that. Mm -hmm. So nowadays with computers and this and that, as long as, you know, AI doesn't go crazy and take over the world and destroy us, mm -hmm. we'll be able to build on top of that, right? Mm. So people today, not so much that they're more intelligent. The mm -hmm. intelligence level, I don't think it's been it's increased. I yeah. think you just have more information accessible on your fingertips mm. quicker. Mm. You know, I'm, I was born time where there was no cell phones. Mm -hmm. I was born at a time that if you wanted information about history, you would mm -hmm. have... Uh, a library in your house mm -hmm. and you would have what's called encyclopedia people encyclopedia yeah. they used to exist yeah. and you actually bought encyclopedia and your mom used to buy it because it looked good the, Britannica it, I still it looked remember beautiful it was you know, encyclopedia and you got the leather Britannica. and the color yeah. you know so it was also static mm -hmm. you know it was it was about to making the house go, mm -hmm. and when people came in they're like oh my god look at her she's got you know the leather <laughs> bound you know encyclopedia that must yeah. be the latest what year is that oh that's yeah. last year wow. Ooh, they have the latest information from last year you know now if you don't have the latest information five seconds ago 
your, your old news, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, and you used to open it up and you could read all about everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was the internet. That, mm -hmm. That's all the information mm -hmm. we had. So it, it, it just, it changes, you know, so we build on top of it. And I think that nowadays with podcasts, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you can really get into depth about, you know, information. Mm -hmm. And if you have the time and you have the patience and mm -hmm. to listen, you know, I listen to a lot of, I'm, I'm not a big reader. I'm a, I have dyslexia big time. Mm. Uh, so, you know, I, but I do like books and I do like stories and mm -hmm. uh, I just can't, you know, I sit there for 10, 15 minutes, I'm done. So mm -hmm. now, you know, when you put the, the headset on and they read it to you, yeah. Now you can go to the beach and read five books. You know, yeah. you just lay there and listen to it. <laughs> so it's it's the same thing. You're still acquiring the information. You're just acquiring mm -hmm. it a different way. Uh, and YouTube, to me, has been godsend because I can do anything mm -hmm. with YouTube. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what it is. I need to build a house. I build a house. Mm -hmm. All I got to do is go to YouTube, and it'll explain yeah. to me step by step visually how to do it, mm -hmm. which is awesome. Uh, so, I mean, you know, there's, there's a lot of that. So yeah, I, I definitely do enjoy, uh, this time. Mm. Uh, you know, the, I think it was a, a Roman emperor that says, man, you live in interesting times, mm. you know, and I think we live in amazing times, you know, not with the AI mm -hmm. and the computer and all these, you know, and podcasting, you yeah. know, and yeah, I mean, who would, who would have ever thought that I would be doing podcasting, you know, not that I'm very popular or anything like that. We have very few followers, but you know, who knows maybe mm -hmm. in, in a, a year from now, two years from now. The, the, it'll grow mm -hmm. uh it'll become something else mm. and we'll see where we go from there yeah yeah, yeah. actually final question yeah. and that's where i want to take it. it um and then the reason why speaking of like looking back at this you're, mm -hmm. we're going to look back at this in five years and ten years at this interview right now you're nine episodes in mm -hmm. you're a baby so yeah. that means yeah. you're about to be in the double digits yeah, then yeah, you're going to yeah. be in the teens yeah, and yeah. hopefully you make it to that centurion we'll and we'll on see. you we'll know see. no we'll you know yeah. uh, no pressure but yes i will put pressure um so <laughs> let's say you keep on doing it yeah. what's your vision let's we're entrepreneurs too so dream for a moment what's yeah. your vision no my vision Mission is definitely. Uh, I'm a foodie. I've mm -hmm. always been a foodie. I love to cook. Mm -hmm. uh, so definitely bring forth the Argentinian barbecue mm. and elevate it. You know, like Peruvians have elevated the ceviche. Mm -hmm. uh, the best Michelin star restaurants in the world are in Peru. Mm. Argentinian barbecue is amazing, mm. but it's never really been improved on. Mm. It's just, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. You put the salt, you put the thing, and, da, 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 and that's it, you're done. Mm. And it is amazing. <laughs> it is, I agree. No, it's really good. But it's not been elevated. Mm. It's not been bring forth and improved, mm. specifically the barbecue. Mm. Uh, so that would be, I, I do pop-ups. Mm -hmm. I do, I love to cook barbecue. So mm. I do pop-ups once a month. We get together, you know, in a parking lot, in somebody's restaurant. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I don't really care. That's as amazing. As long as they allow me to cook, I'm good. <laughs> so I do the barbecue. Everybody eats. And my my point is that every time I do it, I try to improve or I try different wow. things. Wow. Yeah. You know, and I try to get to the point of whatever I'm making, I make it to the maximum potential. Mm. You know, if, if I need to burn, you know, the, the charcoal little by little, I'll Man, burn it little you're by little. making me hungry you right know, now. Stuff like that. Yeah. You know? So that, the idea would be that the podcast becomes popular. Mm -hmm. You know, we represent some meat in companies and some that the pop up becomes a thing. Mm -hmm. I've actually looked into the idea of doing a carnivore. Uh, like expo mm. basically invite the best 10 carnivore restaurants in, mm. in miami and just have like a festival <laughs> and like all out i'm meat. all over all that, you do dude. is just meat no forks nothing just everything by hand like animals <laughs> and uh, they just serve the food in like a big i don't know about you're that just part, grabbing I'll, I'll, i'm you telling you people will love that they, love that. they'll love that i just yeah, want yeah, the yeah. meat but well, you can wash your hands forks, but yeah but no, no, no. I must sneak in some They'll chopsticks. They'll cut it for you. They'll cut it if for I you. If I sneak in some chopsticks, <laughs> will I be banned? No, That's no, the well, question. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, definitely, you know, so so the dream would be to to make that popular to the yeah. point that, you know, we can do things like that. Yeah. You know, we can do events and stuff. I, I've done events my whole life. Mm -hmm. I've done all kinds of events, sporting events, eating events. I've, I've done concerts. Mm. So I have the experience to do that. So definitely, I would love for that to become... Uh, popular to the point that I can, you know, I can really bring, yeah. I can bring, so, 
Okay, so I don't know. It's an old movie. I'm not even. I don't remember the name of the yeah. movie. I, I don't think we have time for it. But anyways, in this movie, there's a guy, and they ask, uh, you know, and the guy's kind of a little bit of a dick, and he's dating this girl that's really intellectual, mm. and he's not. And the dad doesn't like him, and mm. he tells him, "Listen, what do you what do you want to do for the future?" And he goes, "Well, I want to try to sell something that's not going to hurt anybody. I want to sell a product mm. that's going to be good for people. I'm gonna." And so he starts talking about something that doesn't exist. Yeah. You know, because everything we do at a certain point hurts somebody or somebody's in disagreement mm -hmm. with it and stuff like that. And I've always thought about that. And I always thought it was funny, but mm. I always thought about it. You know, I've worked with companies like, I don't want to say names, but, mm. you know, certain, ga you know, soda yeah, companies yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, you know, I know that the product is not good for you. Mm. It's too much sugar, the syrup, uh, you know, uh, I work with other companies that I know they took advantage of workers mm. and things like that. Mm. So... This, to me, mm. this is something, you know, not only is it something I love, mm -hmm. it's something that brings joy and I'm providing nourishment and providing a, an environment, a fun environment for yeah. people and I'm bringing joy to people, even if it's for an hour or two. Mm -hmm. So the podcast, in my opinion, is funny. We, we tend to be funny, sell jokes and enjoy ourselves. So that brings another joy, mm -hmm. another part of it. And we do talk about, you know, interesting topics but in a fun way mm -hmm. never you know <laughs> we're gonna get to fights so that's fun this is fun then of course the water bikes that we don't have time today but you know so everything that i'm bringing forward mm -hmm. that i'm trying to do in my life today is something that it's not going to take away from your life mm -hmm. it's going to add to your life and yeah. most of the time it's going to be a joy and an enjoyment and what more joy is there in life than eating a good meal mm -hmm. and hanging around with good friends yeah. i mean that's probably you know and the cigars and the meat it goes all together and it just makes everybody happy and everybody has a great time. So that's really what, you know, that would be my ultimate goal mm. would be to get to that point where I could do that on a monthly basis. I am kind of doing it right now, mm -hmm. but obviously, you know, to get to that point that I can do it and I can bring forth even better products and yeah. develop even better things and make the play even bigger and just keep growing from there, you know. Man. And, and touch as many people I as see, possible. <laughs> I see the vision. Yeah, yeah. I already see there's going to be a partnership because I want to yeah. come out here. And oh, I already absolutely. know I'm be, well. I'm going on the show, so yep. that's going to yep. be a lot of That'll fun. So I get to experience that. I'm going to show the other <laughs> co-founder. I'm going to say, man, come on. <laughs> George is here. <laughs> He's already. We want to do events absolutely, over there anyway. Man. Let's figure out how to make yeah. it work. Last thing I want you to do, tell look me. into the camera. Tell people how they can follow your show. And then also you're an entrepreneur, your water bike business, absolutely. which we didn't have time to talk about today. But yeah. definitely leave the website and how people can follow. Absolutely. So you can look up uh, on Instagram, Facebook, on YouTube. You can look up Meat and Cigars, Meat, M-E-A-T, and Cigars, the A-N-D, not with the little thingy. And uh, you can also, if you're interested in participating in, in the uh, pop-ups, you can also email at meatandcigars.com. Uh, the water bikes is Miami Water Bikes, and you can also follow, we have the website, miamiwaterbikes.com. And you can email MiamiWaterBikes.com if you want information. And, of course, we're on all the medias, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. You can look us up, uh, and you will love it. Uh, we live in the beautiful Miami area. Mm -hmm. We have beautiful uh, waterways. We have a beautiful bay. We have beautiful canals, dolphins, raccoons. I mean, it's awesome. So when you're in Miami, look us up, and we will be happy to host and show you a good time. Amazing. Well, well, thank you thank for you. coming on the show today. And to, and to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. If this is your first time with Mission Matters and you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe or follow button. This is a daily show. Each and every day, we're bringing you new content, new entrepreneurs, and new stories to hopefully inspire you along the way in your journey as well. Again, hit that subscribe or follow button. And George, man, I'm so excited to go eat some meat oh, and yeah. to smoke some cigars there and hang go. out on the meat and cigars podcast so thank you for having me no, later you. on today oh,